Well, rough start with 8.28 to go here at Normal, Illinois. 24 to 11 is the Illinois State lead. St. Joseph's will keep the possession down to what is its last two timeouts with 8.28 to go in the first half. After Nick Robinson had to spend one because he couldn't get the ball in bounds on the baseline, the right side of the floor, the basket at which the Hawks are trying to score. Matt Martucci flying solo today. Joel Lenardi back home. Wanted to be here. Travel, uh, unfortunately, would not cooperate in terms of planes getting in and out today. Nine early turnovers over the course of what is the first 11-32 of this game. And 16 points for Illinois State off those turnovers. Inbounds to Casper, left of the lane, off a cut and gets a layup. So Brendan Casper gets some points off the bench. Hawks down by 11, 24-13. Casper averaging nine a game, his last two off the pine. Right of the lane, reversal. Comes to the left corner, Wills tries a three that's off the right side of the rim. Casper gets a hand on the rebound, gets fouled from behind, Mikhail McIntosh. And Fresh Kimball will run to the scorer's table and come in for Chris Clover. So I'll reset the floor. Bauman Brown, along with Newkirk, Casper, and Kimball. Paris Lee returns for Illinois State with two more subs, Deontay Hawkins, as well as DJ Clayton. Evans will sit, as will McIntosh, as will Williams. So Fain back out there with Lee, Wills along with Hawkins and Clayton. Newkirk man by Wills, one at a Bauman screen. Shavar cuts off of it and sets one for Brown. Casper dribble hand off Newkirk, yet to take a shot, has Wills up in his grill, splits a double team, falls down, loses the basketball. Clayton comes away with it, 10th Hawk turnover. And feeds Lee with a spin dribble coming out to the right wing for Paris Lee. Uses a feign screen, hits him, cutting down the lane, two hand slam. And Phil Fain has his third bucket of the game, a perfect three for three, all from point blank range, 26-13. Again, largest lead, back to 13. Kimball rises, left wing, tries a three, back of the rim. Bauman gets fouled from behind on a nice box out attempt. And they'll get Tony Wills on the sixth team foul. Actually, no, it's Hawkins, I thought it was Wills. So Hawkins becomes yet another red bird to pick up a personal. Unfortunately, it's six different guys with one foul. Hawks down 13. Ball reversal, Robinson, top of the key, Newkirk, and over to the right arc of dribbling Kimball. Snaps it to Robinson. He feeds the corner, Newkirk, his first three attempt off the mark. Rebound knocked out of bounds. Charlie Brown tried for it. Last touch by Paris Lee. And it will stay with St. Joseph's. Shavar Newkirk 0 for 1, four turnovers, nine minutes. Hawks have given it away 10 times as a team. 18 of the 26 points for Illinois State today have come off of turnovers. So a lot of self-inflicted wounds. Inbounds, Bauman over on the right wing and hands off for Kimball. Lamar Fresh Kimball crosses over, zips a pass, left wing, Brown rises for three, buries it. And Charlie Brown has been the source of light for this Hawk offense. Eight points in 13 minutes for him. Three of five from the field. His second three of the day. Lee, a catch on the left wing. Man by Newkirk. Jabs left, goes right. Draws a double. Lefty floater around Bauman. Scores. Too easy for Paris Lee. Nine for him. And back to a 12-point lead. Kimball, an up fake. Jump pass. Bauman got a layup up on the front of the rim that hit nothing. And rebound squirts out. Last touch by Hawkins out of bounds in front of the Illinois State bench. Javon Bauman looks like he will come out. Andy Will, Jai Williams, the Hawk Jr. from Philly Electrical and Tech, who was one of nine different Hawk players to score the other night in the eight-point win over Princeton. He's the one to come in. I think this officiated crew wants to clarify if Illinois State did, in fact, touch that basketball last. So Brett Smith, Jerry Pollard, Randy Heimerman, today's crew. Right now it's Pollard and Smith who are taking a look on the monitor, which is to the right of the St. Joseph's bench. Give you an idea of what it looks like here. Red basically everywhere. The valley in the paint written in white. Doug Collins Court 
at either end of the baseline. And a big red cardinal, or red bird, I should say, right out there at midcourt. Almost looks like the Louisville Cardinal, or the Phoenix Cardinal, or the Arizona Cardinal, or the St. Louis Cardinal. We are, in fact, in Illinois. Missouri isn't that far. What we do know, though, today, 7 of 19 shooting for the Hawks. Only two made three-point field goals yet to go to the foul line, and they've turned it over ten times. That's the most glaring thing. The three-quarter court pressure for Illinois State really causing problems early on and made what was a single-digit margin quickly about 10 or 12, and that's where it is right now. It's gotten to as many as 13, right now 28-16. Get one more look, and Illinois State did, in fact, touch that ball last. As they just showed it on the replay monitor. Robinson inbounds Newkirk. About five dribbles with the right hand, now switches to the left, uses a brown screen. Charlie snaps it to Fresh Kimball. Right wing for the sophomore out of Newman Goretti, dribbles it off of his left shoe and it caroms to Newkirk. Five to shoot. Newkirk crosses over, splits a double, gets to the lane, rises, layup attempt, no, but a foul as the shot clock expires. And Shavar Newkirk will go to the free throw line with a pair. Phil Fain just picks up his first. And the seventh team foul. And now Newkirk. The first attempts of the day for anyone on SJU. Swishes the first. And we'll see, maybe this trip to the foul line gets Shavar's head jogged back to normal. One, two, three, four, five different Hawks have scored, led by eight from Charlie Brown. Five different Redbirds have scored as well as Newkirk splashes the second. 81% coming in, good for 13th in the Atlantic 10. 28-18, six minutes to go in the first half, Hawks down 10. Lee matched up with Newkirk, one hands, top of the wheel. Over there to Washington, who just checked in. Andre Washington sporting a headband and some dreadlocks. The freshman from Fort Worth, Texas. Lee around a screen, right of the lane, sends it to Wills in between the circles. Snaps it back over to the right arc. Lee again, uses a feign screen, goes between his legs, sends Wills with one on the shot clock. Desperation three off the mark, but the rebound gets tapped out into Fain's arms at a fresh 30. Jai Williams couldn't hold on to it, and Illinois State maintains another possession. McIntosh, spin dribble to the lane, gets caught up and bounces Fain. Double team as Robinson rushes over to help Williams. Fain on the right wing, out of his comfort zone, high on that right arc. Uses McIntosh, lefty dribble for McIntosh, driving, left hand layup off the rim, rebound for Nick Robinson. Hawks can cut it back to single digits here, 5.05 to go. Robinson right down the lane and draws a foul, the eighth team foul on Illinois State. And they'll get Andre Washington. And Nick Robinson will head to the line, not a bad start for Nick, minus the inbounds troubles. He does have a pair of turnovers, but also has four points and four rebounds. Front end of the one and one. This one rattles around and good. Spun around the cylinder, five for Robinson. Hawks have started three of three from the foul line. 28-19. Down by nine, 5.03 to go in the first half. Second one, hard rattling in. Six for Robinson. Thank goodness for he and Charlie Brown. Combined for 70% of the points, 14 of the 20 between the two of them. Hawks down 28-20, inside five minutes to go. Front court left. Right in front of my vantage point is Lee for Illinois State. Swings right wing. And it's Fain who tries a shot that hits the back of the rim, but the rebound tapped out on the carom to Tony Wills. 4.35 to go. Hawks down eight, McIntosh faces up on the baseline, tries a jumper over Brown, that's halfway down, pops out, and a foul on the rebound. Either going to be Fain, nope, they're gonna stay at this end. They'll say Fresh Kimball apparently was draped on him. Second one on Kimball, 15 foul. And Chris Clover will have to come in. Phil Martelli wants an explanation as far as what the call is. Brett Smith gives it to him. 
And Lee will now inbound from the left side of the left basket into Washington, out there with McIntosh, Fain, and Wills. Crossover into the lane, McIntosh splits a double, layup blocked off the bottom of the glass. Robinson got a hand on it, and it caroms to Clover. St. Joseph's up the floor, down by eight. Newkirk, exaggerated dribble, goes behind his back, having trouble with Lee in those quick hands. Newkirk can't get around Lee, who's right up at his grill. Snaps it, Clover steps into a left wing three. That's around the rim and off. Rebound, though, offensive rebound for Nick Robinson. Fresh 30 for the Hawks. Newkirk fakes the top of the key three, drives, pulls up, mid-range, back of the rim. Williams trying for the rebound and ended up pushing McIntosh out of the play. And Jai Williams will get hit with his first and the team's sixth. When we come back, it's Illinois State possession, up by eight, 3.53 to go in the first half. It's the Redbirds 28, the Hawks 20. From Van Wagner Sports and Entertainment, the St. Joseph's Hawks Men's Basketball Radio Network. 